here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, what's up there, shut-ins? Another episode of The Pantless Bartender. And as we say during this pandemic, when you're shut in, if you got your pants on all day, every day, you're doing it wrong. So off come the pants. And we've got a special drink today, uh, kind of in commemoration of a big event. Uh, today would be the day of horse racing's uh, second leg of the Triple Crown. That would be the Preakness. We should have done this drink two weeks ago when it would have been the Kentucky Derby. Uh, the Kentucky Derby, aside from being the first leg of horse racing's Triple Crown and a great two and a half minute horse race, is basically known for just one thing. That would be the mint julep. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, two things. Beautiful women strutting extravagant hats and the mint julep. All right, so there are about 101 ways to make a mint julep. Uh, this is the way that works for me. And it's not like you can't just combine everything in a, in a drink, stir and go. The process on this one is particularly important. Like I say, a lot of ways you can make it but this is the one that has worked for me. Mint julep consists of bourbon, fresh mint, sugar, and ice. That's it. But it's how you do it that makes all the difference. First thing I'm going to do is going to put away the Blantons. All right. That was out here for show and it's kind of got a little horsey on it. But I don't like to use uh, this good a bourbon on the mint julep. Um, a nice middle shelf like a Bullet or a, a Woodford or a Maker's Mark is the way to go on that one. So we're going to use the Maker's Mark. Uh, so, once again, process is very important. You start with the mint. And what you do is, you take this fresh mint, which has been washed, and you put uh, 12 to 15, even more if you like, mint leaves in the bottom of a, a cup. You can use a regular rocks glass, like this one. Or what I've got is an actual mint julep cup. It's silver. You'll see some frost develop on this as we go along or actually as you're getting ready to drink it. So what I do is I take that 12 to 15 mint leaves in the bottom of that cup and I'm going to add one ounce of bourbon. And then what I'm going to do is muddle that. You kind of need a muddler for this. And what you're doing is you're extracting the, the mint oil from the leaves here. You don't want to shred up the mint. You just want to bruise it up real good to get the mint extract out of there. And what you'll see is, after you've done it for a while, you know, turn and twist, turn and twist, but don't shred it. You'll see these leaves, they'll start getting dark spots on them because you bruised the mint. And that's what you want to do. All right, so, whoops, we bruised the mint up pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that extract and I'm going to pour it in a mixing glass here, leaving the leaves in the bottom of the cup. And you'll see later on why I do that. This is my process once again, and process is everything when making a mint julep. All right, now, with the mint julep, uh, the next thing you want to do is, we'll get this ready in here. We're going to add three ounces of bourbon, and we're going to put it into the mixing glass. And then we're going to add the sugar. All right. In this case, I've got simple syrup. Simple syrup is very easy. Simple syrup, it's called that for a reason. It's one part water, one part sugar. Make sure the sugar gets all the way dissolved in there and you've got your simple syrup. I like to buy the Starbot because it, it's got preservatives in it and it lasts longer. One ounce of the simple syrup. Don't You can use less. Kind of decide what you like on a sweetness factor and go with that. I'm going to use a little less than one ounce. And that's going to go in here, all right? And we're just going to give that a quick stir, get that all nice and even, because what we're going to do now is we're going to add the ice to our cup that has the mint leaves in the bottom of it. Now, the ice is really important in what you do here. You can't just put in ice cubes. You've got to crush this ice. And in my case, I crush it down to the consistency of a really coarse snow. And you're going to fill the cup all the way up with that, with this ice consistency. This is really important. You cannot just be with ice cubes. 
let that sit in the freezer a little bit too long. All right, it's pretty much filled up now to the top. There we go. I'm going to take that one big piece of ice out of there. All right, and then we've got this nice, nicely um, balanced sugar and bourbon and mint extract concoction in here, and we're going to just pour this over the top of the ice. All right, and that brings it nearly to the top. You can add more ice here. I would recommend adding more ice, but in turn, for uh, purposes of time, we're not going to do that. Now, the straw. Do not drink this like so. You must drink this out of a straw. It's all part of the process. And this straw has been cut off so that, well, you'll see why it's been cut off but it, it brings the mouth of the straw right up to the top of the glass, and then you need a sprig of fresh mint. Excuse me. Now you need a sprig of fresh mint, and that's going to go in here like so. And then when you go to drink it, there's frost forming on the outside of this already. When you go to drink it, bring your nose, this is why the straw is cut off, close to the mint, so you're going to get that aromatic pleasure of the mint, plus the taste from the mint leaves that are already on the bottom of the glass. My gosh, that's good. All right, that is the mint julep. That, that is the mint julep. Hope you enjoy. And remember, uh, if you're wearing pants all day, every day, you're doing it wrong. But other than that, tally-ho and bottoms up.